I think that this particular video is dedicated to the people with the flu. <laughs> flu or man flu? Man flu. Man flu. Seven, it is seven. actually, it is scientifically proven. <laughs> it is. That men, when sure. they get the flu, actually get 10 times sicker than women. They actually do. It's scientifically proven. You've been 70% sick yeah. and 50% man flu. So you're at 120%. And that's exactly right. I nearly died. <laughs> Hi guys, Mitch here from MJB Seminars, where you liberate, empower, and inspire yourself to be the greatest example of your creation. Now, that last week I got uh, I got man flu, and um, I just want to share with you something that I learned through that particular process. And it's funny, you know, uh, at the when I got sick, when uh, everybody around me was sick, like the kids were sick, and and here's how I actually got man flu. Oliver had a runny nose. My wife goes down and she gets this instrument where you stick it up the baby's nose and it's got a tube on it with a little filter and you suck the snot out of the baby's nose. So this new item comes into my house and who's it handed to? It's handed to me. So I stick this thing up the baby's nose and I'm sucking snot out of the baby's nose. I do it two or three times. The next morning I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, my chest is really heavy. So what had I done? I had basically sucked his virus into my chest and I started to get ill. Now, at that particular, at, in my life, guys, I'm a very busy person. And as much as I do everything that I can to make sure that I, you know, I have an equal balance at home, an equal balance at work, and I have an equal balance with the clients, my, uh, you know, sometimes that balance gets thrown out a little bit. And for the past five and a half months, um, Ange has just been connecting with this little baby. And I've been connecting with the two girls. So I leave mommy and the baby together to just connect. But when I got the flu and we were all sick, um, uh, Angela was also really, really, really ill. We all ended up on the couch, but what I started to notice is that Oliver kept ending up in my hands and he was sleeping in my arms and then waking up and I started playing with him. And as I started playing with him, you know, I started to connect with this little baby and he, it's like he, he's, just, he's just so alive. He's just like this universe of life. It's just, I'm looking into his eyes and it's just like, wow. And he's just connecting with his dad and he lights up when I come into the room now. And I realized that I, I think one of the reasons that life stops us when we go through certain seasons in our lives is to make us reconnect with things. So when we have something traumatic happen, it's about getting us to be more. And so rather than you know getting caught up in the drama or the trauma of being ill or sick or anything occurring in your life, there's much deeper questions that we gotta ask ourselves. Like when this is occurring for me, who am I getting close to? And um, what is life asking me to be? Who is it asking me to step up into? And for me, it was asking me to, it was time that I connected with this little baby. It was time that I connected with Oliver. It was time that he did fall asleep in my arms. And it was time that he did wake up and look in my face and give me that big smile because he needed it and I needed it. And I think that's why life stops us sometimes. It stops us in our tracks and gives us that, that Mack truck experience because it wants us to stop and take check as to who's what, yeah, take check and become more appreciative of what's occurring and who we are and slow down and take your time buddy and it was I have to say being sick was actually a really fabulous experience and um, because I got to do all those things so I want to if you know someone that's ill at the moment if you know someone that's gone through some sort of transformation if you know someone that's you know had that Mack truck experience you know share this message with them you know and, and the message that I want to give to them is you know ask yourself those higher questions that are you know are questions that are going to enable you to to answer with love and wisdom and care and compassion for yourself and if you know somebody that is going through anything please feel free to flick this over on Facebook or share it and then um, remember guys you know love is all there is love is the only way live your life inspired take care